good evening everyone my name is bharat tirula i am a development engineer at uh, imagine technologies and a co reviewer of heat translator and tosca passer um uh, the another other is uh, sadev he is unfortunately is not feeling well so i am covering the whole session so uh, we are covering two uh, two topics to tosca substitution mappings and the tosca uh, auto scaling support so substitution mappings totally belongs to uh, tosca passer then tosca auto scaling uh, belongs to heat translator so we'll cover both two features what we got in the newton cycle uh, so uh, first we will discuss about what is tosca and then what is heat translator and describe about heat so tosca is a unique uh, web standard for uh, it's a unique web standard for uh, writing application for all the clouds whether whatever the cloud you may uh, you are running uh, so we will have a new uh, unique format for all the clouds so for that purpose we have a tosca format so what is a heat translator so what are the templates you have non heat templates so the project heat translator will try to convert those templates into heat template heat orchestration template so currently we in heat translator we support uh, tosca tosca to heat translate uh, heat templates so uh, we also uh, we also planning to support non other non heat templates too so what is heat heat is a orchestration orchestration service for open stack which generally uh, you will write a template and give it to heat heat will take care of creating resources that belongs to open stack and you just have the uh, stack running in your open stack cloud so what is a substitution mapping so uh, you will have different uh, application running in your cloud you want to write different application let's say i have a web application a database instead of writing all the all the details about different application in a single template we have a substitution mapping feature where you will write a data let's say i have a database application you will write a database feature in one template and you just import it into the another template so which is a parent template so you will give the parent template to the tosca passer or heat translator which converts the to heat so you will uh, so the heat translator will take care of uh, handling those two templates the parent template and the uh, database template which is you are substituting so how to use a substitution mapping so we have a uh, so we have a database template the first one is a database template where you are just defining a substitution mapping so you are just giving a name to the substitution mapping let in this example i'm just giving to uh, as uh, tosca.nodes.database so when you are referring to that database you are just giving to the name so then i have implementing the details of uh, database so in the next template i'm just importing that tosca.nodes.database uh, so i'm giving a name mysql underscore database of type tosca.nodes.database so instead of writing the details of data mysql database you are just importing it so that is the support we are uh, using for substitution mappings uh, so these are the resources where you can learn about the substitution mapping and tosca templates so uh, version 1 for tosca simple profile is already uh, approved but 1.1 is still in discussing so we have the another feature uh, added in newton cycle for uh, heat translator which is auto scaling support so uh, you will you will define a new scaling policy uh, where uh, i need uh, you will define a compute node and you say the scaling policy as i need a two minimum instance and five maximum instance so if there is a cpu utilization of more than 50% just scale it out so such kind of policy will convert it into a heat translator sorry a heat template so that is all about auto scaling support we will discuss how it happens in heat translator so uh, while writing the uh, while converting the auto scaling while supporting the auto scaling support in heat translator we will use this, uh, we use the nested templates because in heat uh, when you are uh, defining a auto scaling group uh, you have to either uh, define one heat resource i mean one heat uh, server or you have to re, uh, refer to a template which has multiple servers there is no there is no way of defining two servers into one sing, uh, auto scaling group so for that we have uh, opt for nested up nested template support so this is the tosca template where I have, where i have defined a tosca node compute which is like a virtual machine and the other is a scaling policy where i have defined uh, just uh, in the properties you can see that minimum instance is 2 maximum is 10 and default is 2 so our uh, default is 3 so while you launch the heat stack you'll get a three instance and the cpu cpu utilization is more than 
um, more than 50 percent you will get uh, one more thing so when you give it to heat translator it will convert it into the second template where in the way it will create this is a parent template there are two templates this is a parent template where the first resource is a auto scaling group here the, we have defined a resource as some asg underscore resource dot yml it is uh, it is created by the heat heat translator but it won't output that so only the parent template is output of the heat translator so again we have defined two different scaling properties one is scale out and scale in and the other is the alarm so one scaling policy is defined it's converted into four scaling properties in the hot translator so this is the new feature uh, we have in the heat translator in newton cycle so the upcoming feature of the heat translator is converting uh, heat translator client into a service so instead of having uh, python client installed and your application must be in python to use a heat translator so instead of that uh, we are uh, having uh, we are creating a heat translator as a server so you can use a rest api to convert uh, tosca pass uh, tosca templates into heat templates or you can validate the tosca templates so you don't have to install any python clients and your application don't have to be written in python for using heat translator so so this is the link for uh, it is still in uh, progress um, uh, it needs uh, reviews so please check out the code and just please review it so uh, that is all about the uh, new features in tosca parser and heat translator so thanks for coming up thank you